What makes PUBG stand out from other war games is the fact that you can encounter weapons from different eras. For instance, you can parachute onto a place where there is nothing but an ancient gun such as the Nagon 1895, and if you're good enough to survive with this challenging revolver, you can move on to other places where you can get your hands on some of the most high-tech weapons such as the DP-12, which is one of the most advanced shotguns out there. However, in this video, we're gonna be turning a blind eye to the modern guns because we want to focus only on those weapons that have had an impact on our history, and by that, I'm referring to those guns that were used in iconic wars and battles that took place sometime back in history. So without any further ado, here are the most historical guns in PUBG. Number 1. The Winchester 94 the history of this rifle began one year prior to its production in 1893, when Winchester's ammunition division began experimenting with new smokeless powder, and it is called smokeless to distinguish it from the traditional black powder, which was the only one that was available at that time. The idea behind the smokeless powder is that it contained more energy that would make bullets travel further, allowing hunters to target animals at a much further range. The problem was, Winchester needed a rifle capable of handling the new smokeless powder. That's when John Browning came in, one of the most successful firearms designers of the 19th century and designed the Model 94 we all know today. The rifle became an instant success among hunters thanks to its lightweight, compact design and precision. Its success was pushed even further when it was used by the US Army in World War I, and got even more popular when the Canadian Pacific Coast Rangers used it against the Japanese invasion in World War II. Number 2. The Tommy Gun Also known as the Annihilator, is an American submachine gun invented by General John Thompson in 1917. At that time, the US had yet to join the First World War, but Thompson knew that the US military was in desperate need for updated weapons to compete with the European powers. For that, he began working on a gun that would be capable of rapid fire without manual reloading, and at the same time being light and portable. Unfortunately for General Thompson, the war had already ended by the time the first shipment of the submachine guns was ready. However, only two decades later, the Tommy gun was adopted by the US military, serving during the Second World War and beyond. Number 3. The SKS The SKS is a Soviet semi-automatic carbine designed in 1943 by Sergei Semenov. Despite being designed during World War II, the manufacturing began right after the end of the war and was officially adopted by the Soviet Army in 1949. Only six years later, the SKS was quickly taken out of Soviet frontline service and was replaced with the AK-47 because the latter was better designed, lighter, had three times the magazine capacity and had the potential to be less labor intensive to manufacture. Nonetheless, to this day, the SKS is still being used by civilians, hunters, and even by some ceremonial Russian honor guards. Number 4. The Carabiner 98K It is without a doubt that this rifle is one of the most impressive snipers that has ever been invented. The Car 98K was introduced by German arms manufacturer Mauser in 1935 and was quickly adopted by the German Wehrmacht in World War II. Because of its incredible reliability, great accuracy and effectiveness, many Allied forces including the Soviet Union and France used the car in the years following the end of the war. Number 5. The DP-28 The original name of this weapon is the Dekjaryov machine gun named after its designer and renowned Russian engineer Vasily Dekjaryov. However, the Red Army soldiers informally called it the DP because the disc-shaped magazine resembled a record player. The DP-28 was the primary light machine gun of the Soviet troops during World War II and was also equipped in aircrafts and pretty much all Soviet tanks. Despite its effectiveness and large magazine capacity, there were lots of downsides to this weapon such as the ease with which the pan magazines would damage while being carried, and of course, 
The difficulty and the time it takes to reload the weapon which is already a meme among PUBG players. Number 6. The R1895 Originally known as the Nagon M1895, as a revolver designed and produced by Belgian industrialist Leon Nagon for the Russian Empire. The production began in Liège, Belgium, but Russia quickly purchased the manufacturing rights in 1898 and moved production to the Tola Arsenal in Russia. Since then, the M1895 was extensively used by the Russian Imperial Army and later by the Soviet Union. In Russian service, it was known for its extreme sturdiness and durability. As one former Imperial Russian officer stated, if anything went wrong with the M1895, you could fix it with just a hammer. The revolver achieved cult status in Russia throughout the decades and it continued to be used for so many years among the Russian police forces. As a matter of fact, it was only in 2009, that is over 110 years later, when the M1895 was officially retired from use in the Russian Federation. Number 7. The QBU The QBU was developed by the Chinese company Norinko for the People's Liberation Army in 1997, but its history can be traced back to the Sino-Vietnamese War in 1979 when the Chinese forces entered northern Vietnam and captured several cities near the border. During that brief war, the Chinese forces managed to capture samples of the Soviet-designed Dragunov sniper rifle, then copied and perfected it throughout the years until it resulted in the QBU that we know today. Number 8. The Sawed-Off Shotgun Also called Lupara is a double-barreled shotgun whose barrels and buttstock have been cut off after fabrication. The sawed-off shotgun was invented by shepherds in Sicily to protect their livestock and to hunt wolves, and hence the Italian name Lupara, which means for the wolf. Unfortunately, this weapon gained popularity amongst the Italian organized crime group dominant in Sicily for their use in their vendettas, mob assassinations, and defense. In fact, this shotgun was predominantly used against Mussolini's army when he decided to break up the Sicilian Mafia network back in 1924. The Lupara was introduced in the United States by Sicilian immigrants in the 19th century and instantly gained popularity amongst gangsters there too. For that reason, the fabrication and possession of the sawed-off shotgun was quickly made illegal in many countries by the early 1930s. The gangster empire began to crumble and week by week saw more faces going through the routine preparatory to a long stay in the pen. Are there other historical guns that aren't available in PUBG and should be included? Unlike other war games, PUBG is not directed towards one specific war that took place some time back in history like the case with Call of Duty and Battlefield. For that reason, there's a vast array of weapons, ancient and modern, that you can use to wreak havoc onto 99 other players. For instance, you can use weapons that were developed during the 19th century such as the Winchester 94 or modern guns such as the Scar L, which is one of the most technologically advanced assault rifles. In this video, we will look at the history of some of these weapons and hopefully this time, I will cover your favorite one. Number 1. The OTS-14 Groza I have to start with this rifle because you guys bombarded the comment section of my previous video with this notorious weapon. The Groza, also known in English as Thunderstorm, is a bullpup assault rifle that was developed by the Central Design Bureau of Sporting and Hunting Arms of Tula, Russia during the early 1990s. The weapon was specifically designed to suit the needs for the Russian Special Forces to use in urban warfare and was utilized for the first time in 1999 during an anti-terrorist campaign in Chechnya. Since then, the weapon has pretty much died out and its production ceased as a result. Nonetheless, the story is completely different in Battlegrounds because it's actually one of the most sought rifles thanks to its high damage rate which can turn the tables around, particularly in the final stages of the match. Number 2. The DP-28 
The original name of this weapon is the Degityaryov machine gun, named after its designer and renowned Russian engineer Vasily Degityaryov. However, the Red Army soldiers informally called it the DP because the disc-shaped magazine resembled a record player. The DP-28 was the primary light machine gun of the Soviet troops during World War II, and was also equipped in aircrafts and pretty much all Soviet tanks. Despite its effectiveness and large magazine capacity, there were lots of downsides to this weapon such as the ease with which the pan magazines would damage while being carried, and of course the difficulty and the time it takes to reload the weapon which is already a meme among PUBG players. Number 3. The QBU the QBU is without a doubt one of the most underrated guns in PUBG. It's a rifle that was developed by the Chinese company Norinco for the People's Liberation Army in 1997 and it's still being used in China until this very day. The QBU's story can be traced back to the Sino-Vietnamese War back in 1979 when the Chinese forces entered northern Vietnam and captured several cities near the border. During that brief war, the Chinese forces managed to capture samples of the Soviet-designed Dragunov sniper rifle, then copied and perfected it throughout the years until it resulted in the QBU-88 that we know today. Number 4. The AUG A3 Also known as the Steyr AUG is an assault rifle that was designed by Austrian arms manufacturer Steyr Daimler Puck. The AUG went into development in the early 70s with the intention to replace the Austrian FAL because the weight and recoil of the latter were difficult for smaller shooters to manage. By 1978, the AUG was officially adopted by the Austrian army and just a few years later, many other countries including Ireland, Australia, New Zealand and even Saudi Arabia also adopted it for their national forces. In game. The AUG is very easy to handle as it has low recoil and high muzzle velocity, but it's a bit too difficult to find because it's an airdrop only weapon. Number 5. The M24 The M24 was developed by American firearms manufacturer Remington Arms Company in 1986 and was officially adopted as the standard sniper rifle for the US Army two years later. The M24's history begins with its older brother the M40, which came into being during the Vietnam War when the Marine Corps decided they needed a standard sniper rifle to use in the battlefield. In PUBG, the M24 is pretty much identical to the CAR 98K, with the only difference being in the reload time. Being loaded via magazines, tactical reloads will be faster when using the M24, compared to the car's 1x1 one one bullet reload. Number 6. The Mini-14 This lightweight rifle was first introduced in 1973 by America's largest firearm manufacturer Ruger. The name Mini-14 was coined because it resembles a smaller version of the M14, which was the standard rifle for the US military in 1959. In game, the Mini-14 has the highest muzzle velocity and low bullet drop, as well as a larger magazine capacity, making it suitable for situations where quick follow-up shots are required at long range. Number 7. The MK-14 Enhanced Battle Rifle the history of this rifle began in the year 2000, when the United States Navy SEALs requested to have a more compact version of the M14 for their special operations. Since then, the rifle has seen widespread use not only within the special operations units, but also within the US military thanks to its ergonomics, low recoil and low cost, as well as having the option of various optics and accessories. In Battlegrounds, the MK-14 can be seen as a bigger version of the SKS, dealing more damage at the cost of more recoil. Nonetheless, the MK-14 is definitely the more practical option because you can switch to an automatic fire mode at any time you want, enabling you to deliver a huge amount of damage for different situations. Did I mention your favorite weapon? Let me know down in the comments section below.